Recently, I've been talking about 2023 Ninjago a lot, maybe even too much, which is why we need to remember that we're still waiting for the current season, Ninjago Crystallized, to finish airing. Today, I want to once again talk about Crystallized, more specifically the finale, and discuss an aspect I personally do not want to see really happen. Now, to make my point for this video clear, first we need to take things back to season 2, more specifically the actual finale of season 2, after defeating the biggest threat they had ever faced at that time, and with Lloyd becoming the ultimate Spongitsu master, that was a huge victory, and they celebrated, rightfully so, towards the end, and everything was positive and was happy at the time that ended Ninjago, because of course Ninjago wasn't meant to continue after that point, and so it was a nice, happy ending for a two-season show at that point, which was basically just marking, again, the end of a chapter. Next, we need to take things up to season 10, which was once again a huge end of an era for Ninjago, because that was was the end of the Masters of Spinjutsu portion for the show, in a way. And after defeating the Oni, another huge evil threat, they had a celebration of sorts, and pretty much towards the end, everything was once again very happy, and the ninja were in nothing but positive spirits. Fast forwarding up to Crystallized, and well, what do you have it? We have yet another ending to a chapter for the show. This time it's the current Wild Brain era, and also the entire show up until this point. It's kind of going to be the complete conclusion from everything from way back to 2011 all the way up until the present day, 2022. And so Crystallized will be marking the end of Ninjago's biggest chapter yet, in a way. And what I wouldn't really like to see happen is a repeat of those two finales. And the reason for that is... Quite frankly, I just think it would be boring, repetitive maybe. I do have some reasonings for that. Personally, I would much rather have a bittersweet ending, more so than we've ever had in the past. I want there to be some tragic losses, whether that's in the form of character deaths, the Ninjago city being completely destroyed more than it's ever been. I just want there to be a huge consequence for the ninja that would kind of halt their happiness and positivity towards the end of this season after defeating the Council of the Crystal King, along with the Overlord for the final time. I think there should be a lot more stakes at hand here, and it shouldn't just be a repeat where the ninja end up just smiling into the camera like it's nothing, and that's basically it. I wouldn't really like to see that at all. I'd much rather have it be bittersweet, where the ninja can kind of celebrate their win to a degree, but also they have to acknowledge the amount of damage that has come of that. Again, whether that's in the form of character deaths or just another kind of loss in a different way, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not too fussy when it comes to that. However, I just want there to be a major loss towards the end of Crystallized that would mean that the ninja can't really celebrate and look towards the camera all happy as they have done in seasons 2 and 10. That's the kind of thing I do not want to see. Now, the reasoning I'm a little bit worried about this is because with the next season of Ninjago in 2023 rumoured to be an insane new chapter, whether that's with new ninja or a new generation, I do not think they would necessarily be giving our current ninja a sad, bittersweet ending to that degree that I'm kind of talking about here, just because this would be our last time seeing these ninja as the main ninja. So assuming that a new generation kind of thing did happen in 2023, I couldn't really see them giving them a sad ending of sorts. They would want to go out with a bang, they would make everything happy, and the ninja would celebrate all of their accomplishments up until this point, which ultimately is understandable, but at the same time, it would end up being a little bit repetitive in my opinion. Maybe that's just me being awfully picky, here but that is just how i see it personally and i quite frankly just do not want a repeat of season 2 and season 10 in terms of the finale i want there to be a major consequence but if ninjago is going to be heading in a completely new direction next year with a different ninja team obviously nothing is confirmed regarding that just yet keep that in mind then I can definitely see them not doing a bittersweet ending and just having them live happily ever after. And then that could be the end of the ninja team. So I hope you guys do see where I'm coming from with this. I hope I was able to bring up an uh, interesting point for you all to think about. And with this being said, that does just about conclude today's video. So with this being said, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me and see where I'm coming from? Or do you disagree? Or do you just have any other general thoughts you'd like to add onto this? Feel free to let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear them. With this being said, though, if you did enjoy today's video, feel free to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel for more similar to this, and hit that notification bell so you guys can be the first to watch my new videos as soon as I do post them. With this being said, I'll see you all in my next one coming soon. Goodbye.